What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and welcome to today's video which is all about Pantone's color of the year, blue. Now we won't be looking at that specific blue. We'll be looking at navy and a few more faded options that are just a bit more versatile than what the actual color of the year is. So really just use that as a base point and then we'll walk you through 12 different outfits that I have for you guys today to see how you can style the color blue with different colors with other blues and I'm hoping you guys take away a little something from that. If you're noticing that only half my face is moving while I'm talking and I sound a little bit weird, that's because I was playing volleyball, my teeth went through my lip, I got stitches, they're out now, but I really can't use these muscles, so please apologize. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the whole debacle go down, but I'm good, I'll be even better with the next videos that I'll shoot, but let's get started with outfit number one. For the first look, we have a classic suit combo in a variation that is very fall appropriate. The suit, the shirt, and the sweater are from Hugo Boss. The trench coat is from H&M and the shoes are from Ankari Flores White Clean Sneakers. So starting off with a very classic fit, uh, a navy suit is an ultimate essential in any man's wardrobe, even right now when suits aren't all that crazy popping. But I think a trench coat is a really nice way to finish that off. You see there's some differences in the blue, but you can easily mix blues together, and especially if you contrast them against white. For outfit number two, we've got from Uniqlo navy colored jeans. Then we have a flannel in brown with some white as well as blue in there. And then we've got medium brown Doc Martens. Finish that look off with a overshirt from Outer Known that's a lighter blue than the jeans are. And that's point number one with this outfit. I think combining different colors of blue is just very easy. It's an ultra versatile color, one of my absolute favorites out there. And it goes really well with brown as Depicted with this outfit, as I said, the flannel has some blue in it. You can get the inspiration directly from the designer of the piece. If they think blue is a good fit in there, you can probably mix some blue into the outfit. I think this is definitely not for the coldest days. You need a little jacket on top if you want to stay warm, but I think it's a nice fall outfit that can easily be turned into a dope winter fit. For outfit number three, we are starting off in H&M black jeans. Then from Massimo Dutti, we have a gray sweater and black Doc Martens. And then we finish that off with a Hill City Bomber. And that bomber is kind of a turquoise teal-ish color, but I wanted to include it because it is in the family of blue. If you add a little bit of green to blue, this is what you'll get. And especially this iteration of the blue, like a little bit more faded, allows to be really well combined with gray and this achromatic fit. As you can see, the heart runner jacket is black as well, so that's another hint. On to the next one, outfit number four. Now we're in jeans. These jeans are from Uniqlo. The Doc Martens are the same ones that I had on before. Then we have from Uniqlo as well, a turtleneck. And then from Outer Known, a blanket shirt, an overshirt flannel. Point again here is it works really well with brown as well as other earth tones. And the shirt obviously has some blue in it, a lighter blue. We have that darker blue in the denim and in the flannel shirt, we also have that yellow and some darker red, so earth tones that I wanted to pick up with the other earth tones in the outfit. For outfit number five, and here we're getting really into one of my favorite things, white and blue is just a baller combo. We have a denim shirt from Asket, we have Zara white jeans, then we have from Eton a overshirt, we have espresso brown Splito boots from my own brand, Ankari Flores, and if you want to really go for it, you can combine it with a camel overcoat. So a fairly classy look and why I think this works for one is we have that lighter blue with the darker blue which sets a nice tone and you see the buttons on the shirt and actually some of the pinstripes of the overshirt are white so you have your clue to go for a white combination and then I decided to base that against tan and brown which I think makes for a really really nice color palette that I hope you guys can get some inspiration from whether or not you want to recreate this outfit I think the colors together work incredibly well. For outfit number six, we're um, exploring a concept of popping the blue in. So we have gray ripped jeans, and I know if it's really cold out, you shouldn't be wearing ripped jeans. Just imagine they're regular jeans if that upsets you. We've got black Doc Martens, and from Urban Outfitters, a black overcoat. The light blue sweatshirt is from H&M. It's a little bit oversized, and I want to, like I said, show you that you can use blue as a nice little pop. A navy won't pop as much if you go for a lighter blue that's something that you can use to kind of bring a little bit of pizzazz to your outfit this could be a gray sweater it could be a white sweater but i feel like the blue just adds a little bit more for outfit number seven we're starting off in Asket chinos we are back in the brown espresso split toe boots and up top we have from barber a nice blue shirt and an overshirt from uniqlo that is in darker brown corduroy 
So kind of piggybacking off of what I was just talking about, using just one piece that's blue, in this case, it's not as bright, it's not as poppy, but I think it blends in nicely with the otherwise earth-toned outfit. Um, definitely makes it a bit more a bit more unique overall. If you want to tuck in the shirt, I think that makes for a little bit cleaner of a look for this more elevated outfit. And by elevated, I mean more sophisticated. <laughs> On to outfit number eight. We have navy joggers from Zara. We have white sneakers from Ankari Flores. A beautiful pink sweatshirt from Todd Snyder and a gray overcoat from Zara yet again. Navy and pink, soft pink, are an incredible combination, especially if you throw some white in there. And also if you like just tone it back down with the gray like I did in this outfit, I think they go really well together. It's a great way to be integrating pink into your wardrobe and to give the navy, which is very based, a little bit more interest. Think of like a navy suit, but with a pink shirt, that's where you see it in traditional wear. For outfit number nine, we're really going for the earth colors this time. <laughs> we have the uh, medium brown Doc Martens once again. We have from Lululemon the um, pants. The quarter zip in olive green is from Unique Clothes collaboration with J.W. Anderson. And then we finish that off with a piece from Free Assembly, which is Walmart's new sustainable line. And I just really like it. Like, I like throwing a little bit of blue into a full earth tone color scale as we have here. I think it just works nicely. It's, it's the one color that's technically not an earth color that I think goes really, really well with earth colored outfits. For outfit number 10, we're getting a bit more relaxed. We have from Tommy Hilfiger a hoodie that has some patches on it. We have from H&M Chinos. Then we've got these crazy off-white sneakers. If the orange is too much for you, I get it. I just wanted the white and the blue in here. And I finished that look off with a denim jacket from Uniqlo. With the point being, it's really nice to be combining the navy or any blue with denim. Especially if that denim is a little bit washed out and has some yellow tones, that's your invitation to go for an earth color to throw in there as well. But I just think denim, as neutral as it is, it's still blue. And I think it's just a great way to be playing with other blues in the outfit if you guys are into that. Moving on to the second to last, we've got from Goodfellow, a brand at Target, the jeans. We've got brown Chelsea boots and suede from Ankari Flores. We got from Massimo Dutti a blue shirt. And then from Suit Supply, this gorgeous double-breasted pink overcoat. It's like a dusty pink. So definitely a bit more relaxed. The shirt's untucked, we're wearing denim. It's not a um, super dressy look, but the coat definitely makes it a bit more dressy. So do the shoes. And it's really just to point out once again, to get the inspiration from the pieces. The, the buttons on the coat are brown, so the brown shoes make for a logical choice. And I think it's just a nice lighter blue base that really gets brought to life by the pink coat. And in contrast, also the Chelsea boots. For the last one, we're back in a suit. I wanted to finish on a classy note. We've got a suit from Paul Smith that is a medium blue, but has a little bit of brown in the pattern. Then we have from H&M a turtleneck. We've got the espresso split toe boots once more for a really nice and put together simple look. The fabric of the suit has a little bit of a shine to it, as I'm sure you guys can see, so that's definitely a little bit more special. But to bring it back home, whatever it is that you have, um, whether it's a suit or a shirt that already has blue, brown, or any colors combined, try and use those colors, do yourself a favor, and make it easy. That's all 12 outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so, so much for watching. Leave comments down below with your favorite look, any other questions that you might have, or comments, or, or concerns. If this video has the ability to actually cause concerns in you, please leave those down below in the comment section. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you soon with the next video, and hopefully I can talk a little bit more smoothly then. Until then, as always, stay up, y'all. Bye.